Hey, it's Nick from Rivet Lab. Let's take a look at how to install a rivet nut with the RT512 ratchet tool. Okay, first things first, let's take a look at what's in the kit. We've got the tool itself. It's already loaded with the M12 mandrel for M12 rivet nuts there. Um, it also comes with M10, M8, M6 and M5 mandrels and nose pieces. Uh, that's for regular rivet nuts. Then we've also got uh, M5, M6 and M8 riv stud mandrels. We'll take a look at how that works a little bit later. Let's take a look at how to set up the tool. Um, first things first, here's how you change the mandrel and nose piece. So this guy here just pops right out the back and you can wind out the nose piece. I'm just removing the M12 nose piece and mandrel at the moment. And let's say, for example, that I'd like to install an M10 rivet nut. Well, I'll just take the uh, M10 mandrel. It's just marked on the back here that in, got a bit of a knock, and it's secured in place, just a little o-ring in there, um, and then the nose piece goes on. There's a corresponding nose piece for each size of mandrel. So the nose piece has got uh, the anvil itself and then a locking nut here. I'll show you how that comes into play in a moment. So the next step is to get the tool into the setting mode. Uh, what you want to do there is just Look at this uh, little ratchet switch here. Put that in the up position if the tool's pointing that way. And then just take that back handle and rotate it in a clockwise direction until you just start to hear the ratchet engage. There we go, great. Next step, take a rivet nut. We've got an M10 rivet nut to correspond with our M10 mandrel here and wind that on. And just pinch the rivet nut there and um, just hold the dial at the back and you can tighten that so it's going to be perfectly ready for installation. I'll just point out another thing too. Um, you can adjust this nose piece with the locking nut here to make sure you've just got about a thread protruding out the end. That means when you're installing the rivet nut you've got full purchase on those threads and you're not going to strip anything out whilst you're installing. Here's a hole I've pre-prepared. It's a 13mm hole. Um, I've got an M10 rivet nut here. The 13mm hole is suitable for this particular rivet nut. Uh, so all we're going to do is just place the tool or rivet nut itself in the hole um, and at that point then we can just generally support the back handle here and then start to crank that front handle there. So generally just nice easy short strokes are um, the best way to approach in my opinion. Um, and depending on where you're working the tool's going to be very flexible as far as um, where you can position it. So here's a view from the blind side with the rivet nut partially installed. What we're going to do is just continue that ratcheting motion and you can see that the rivet nut is nicely crimping up and we want to install that to a point where you get just a nice flat shoulder like so. You don't need to over install the rivet nut if you keep cranking until you can't possibly pull or push any harder you're going to run the risk of stripping something out um, so at that point there I'm satisfied that I've got a nicely installed rivet nut so the rivet nuts installed the tool is still in the workpiece all we've got to do now is flick this ratchet switch into the opposite position and then we're just going to bring this top handle and the bottom handle together gently there we go and then at that point I'll be able to wind the mandrel out of the job and we've completed the installation process. Okay, so here's a neat feature about the tool. I've got the camera zoomed in on the stroke gauge here. Basically, this is just between the rear handle and the nut and the front handle here. Um, the tool starts in a closed position, so you won't see any of this gauge when you start cranking the ratchet handle. But when we've installed that rivet nut, um, what you can see there, you can see the number three and we're about four and a half millimeters in. So we've, we've used four and a half millimeters of stroke to install that particular M10 rivet nut in what was one millimeter of sheet metal. So um, how's that relevant? Well, let's just say we were working in a uh, blind situation. So you might be going into a bit of tube. You could run a test um, on the same thickness of material and then install it 
be satisfied that you've got it to the right level and then use this gauge um, to be able to assist you in installing the rivet nuts consistently in a blind situation because the next thing that we're going to do is wind this handle back in and get it into the start position again for your next rivet nut installation. Okay, so we set the rivet nut. Uh, we want to install another rivet nut now, so we're just going to return to step one, basically. So um, we've got that ratchet switch here. We're going to put that in the up position with the tool facing that way. Then currently the tool is still in that open position. So what we need to do is get it back to the beginning. Wind that in gently. You'll just start to hear that guy cranking there. And we're ready to go with our next rivet nut installation. I hope you found this to be a helpful video. Um, please leave any comments below. I'll put a link to the product in the information below. Thanks for watching and we'll speak to you next time.